Now today marks the anniversary of the first space shuttle launch in 1981, a historic day for space exploration as we know it. And joining me is Bill Moon. He was part of the launch team uh, for Space Shuttle 1 and 2 missions. Good morning, Bill Moon. I, I know you've heard it before. Moon, such a wonderful name to work for NASA. Tell me about your responsibilities leading up to that day. Uh, I was doing a lot of the planning for the launch team. Uh, we had been simulating quite a bit. And at the same time, I was a manager in the area that I'm responsible for and making sure my people and personnel were, were being certified for launch. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I was at the ECOM and Eagle console in charge of the electrical power distribution system, electrical power generation, and also the maintenance of the temperature and air for the crew. Is that you so, right there? Oh, that's me right there. That's <laughs> many pounds lighter. <laughs> <laughs> so um, can you tell me a little bit about the emotions? I mean, it feels obvious to think that you must have been nervous that day. Uh, you know, we it, it was sort of like guarded nervous because we had done a lot of simulations. Yeah. But we were anxious for it to get off the ground. That's what Jack Knight said yesterday yeah. when I was talking to him. He said, you know, you've got a job to do, so you're kind of more focused on the job right. than your own emotions. Uh, I should mention, too, that you were the first Asian-American flight controller. What was, what was that experience for you? Was it something that you recognized, that you realized? Uh, initially, but after a while, you're, you're just part of the team. You blend it in pay no, no difference to, you know, even though there are a lot of white people in the room and I'm the only Asian, I felt just like one of the group. Wonderful. Um, over the years, uh, have you kept in contact with that group? Have you kept in contact? Oh yeah, we have a yearly uh, reunion. A reunion? Yeah, and we have a big distribution list. And of course, sadly, we, we do a lot of reporting of the ones that we have lost. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of sad, but uh, we, we do keep up at all the reunions. Yeah. What do you want people to know about the about that space shuttle launch in particular? Or those well, space shuttle launches, sorry about that. Well, those space shuttle launches, it was, to, to us, we should be proud of it. Absolutely. Because, it, you know, it's the first time we've uh, launched a vehicle that we could use multiple missions and, and all the payloads we developed and, and sent up to the space station. What do you hope that it does for future space exploration? Oh, I hope it keeps, you know, right now we have Artemis and just keep everybody interested in it because once we quit exploring, we cease to be, I think. Mm. That's, that's my view on it. That's a wonderful view, and I am so proud and privileged to talk to you today. I know you've shaped Houston history, and I, I agree with you that I hope that we continue to do more exploration. So thank you for taking time to talk to me today. And you can watch this on clicktohouston.com. Uh, on our website later today, we have the interview in full. I also have the interview that I did with Jack Knight yesterday about Apollo 13. So it's an honor to sit on the couch with you, sir. Well, thank you.